Hey guys, it's Easter this weekend, which means there's a ton of free candy coming my way. But for a lot of people out there, Easter is not just a glorious day of jelly bean overload. It's a horrifying day that will scar them for life. Here are some examples of just how traumatizing the day can be. Like for this uncle here, who just wanted to give his niece a little Easter surprise. What's not surprising is what happens to him, because dude is clearly toasted. I do this every year for my niece. I surprise her, uh, dressed up in this outfit. Honey, I love you. I hope 30 years from now you can uh, watch us have a wonderful laugh with your uh, with the family of your own. Ow. Oh. It's probably a good thing that he didn't make it up there, because let's face it, people in bunny outfits are terrifying, no matter what, but especially if they appear in the night at your window. Don't bother them yet, they're still drying. <gasps> Kids can't handle a giant bunny. Now, if you want to try a sneak attack for a photo op, you can try it. But it's a risky maneuver because this could happen. All those bunnies meant well, but I do not know what to say about this family because they just stuck bunny ears on a gorilla. This is just cruel. These are toddlers at best. This is not going to be funny to them ever. It's not just traumatizing for people celebrating the bunny side of Easter. Those who honor the non-Hallmark side of Easter fall victim too. Oh, boom, pun there. You'll see why. But hey, sometimes it's not a cool prank or a faulty cross. Sometimes these kids bring it on themselves, like this poor guy. Or these two, who are so stoked for the egg hunt that they don't even look where they're going. But my favorite kids are the ones that can roll with the punches and still be super cute. Like this little girl, whose dad tries to trick her into thinking she's only getting Brussels sprouts. You don't like Brussels sprouts? Yeah, I do. <laughs> She just goes with it. She tries them, doesn't like it, but it's still cool. And then when she gets the real basket, her reaction is easily the cutest thing that I've seen since, well, I can't think of anything cuter. So this is the cutest thing I've ever seen right here. This is so amazing. So which basket do you like better, the candy or the Brussels sprouts? So what about you? What's your favorite Easter story? Let me know at MSNnow.com. I'm Kurt Myers, and now you know about it. Just got the wind knocked out of me.